Good health to you all. Good health. He was very dynamic, very articulate, romantic, a person you never noticed in a room always. One of the things Peter said to me when he first knew me, which I thought was a bit quaint, was that he wanted to grow old with me. We had, we had a very active life together. He'd always wanted to have a go at acting professionally, so I encouraged him to do that because by that time the children were grown up and doing their own thing. So um, he had a go because it's no good looking back when you're 70 something and thinking, I wish I'd tried that. Indeed, he had a heart attack. After that, the real memory problem started. He was going through his audition speeches and found he couldn't remember them. We went to the doctor. The doctor said um, that it was uh, probably anaesthetic because it was a long operation. After a couple of years, nothing was improving, so I said I wanted a brain scan. The brain scan came up with the fact that he had vascular dementia. All this time, Peter's condition was really deteriorating. He was um, incontinent. Um, he was losing the ability to make to speak properly in proper sentences of often rubbish rubbish came out he would have these flash points of, of temper he'd never hit me but he would hit the walls or bash the toilet seat either i was following him around checking what he was doing or he was following me he was urinating in the piano stall or in the drawers or you know it was it, life did get quite difficult then Baltus corner is a nursing home and it's specifically for people with alzheimer's He's very settled there. My wife. I actually only go and see him twice a week. Um, the manager there said, you're visiting for you, not for him. Time sort of means nothing uh, to him. There's moments, you live for moments. Um, I mean, he's always stroking my hand. I sometimes I say, oh, I do love you, I do love you. And I think, oh, that's nice. And next minute he's grabbing the nurse's hand and saying the same thing to her. It's the little things you miss. It's sort of having someone to turn to and make a comment about something you're watching on television. It's, um, it isn't the big things. The big things you can always cope with. It's, it's the little things that sort of suddenly you think, oh, yes, oh, that's, you know, that would be nice, and, and, and you can't do it. Oh, I've known Karen for the past two years, I suppose it would be. Sheila came to a drop-in yeah. surgery, and it's for carers to just pop in and, and see a dementia support worker. They're always there for you, and somebody always rings you back very quickly if you phone, and they, you know, if there's an emergency, they are there sorting things out. We give carers the answers to the questions that they don't even know that they need to ask. We're there for every family for the whole of the journey, from diagnosis all the way along. It's quite a lonely time. I think it's feeling as someone that you can turn to. I've lost my best friend, really.